This strategy game is like no other strategy game that's come before in the last sort of 10 or 15 years. It feels much more authentic to me than most uh, RTS experiences that I've had. We really want to create this, uh, really bring players kind of down into the action uh, in the same way that we're trying to kind of bring this kind of first person shooter perspective to an RTS. We want people to really feel kind of down in this shit. Um, really kind of in the action. I mean, if you look at the cutscenes or the intro sequences of RTS games, I mean, they're full of these, you know, massive scale battles, 3D cameras, full 3D warfare, and they look like cinematic uh, scenes. And then you actually play the game, and that's totally different to the experience you actually get. So what we're doing is we're actually creating a game um, that puts you in the middle of this full-scale, massive battles and also that it puts you in the role of a general so you can completely control those battles. So both from the gameplay and from the camera perspective and the immersion, um, it's a game that wouldn't even have been possible on previous generations of hardware or previous designs. On a battlefield, a general, it's you know, an incredibly challenging, fast-paced environment, but he's not going, I want to build that factory there, I want to put this farm here, I want to manufacture this, uh, this tank, I want to add this piece of equipment in real time. So we're keeping what happens on the battlefield very realistic. Each platoon of soldiers, the sergeant in that soldier has a name, uh, they have their own individual voice, so when you're hearing the guys talk in the, in the battle, when they're feeding back to you. It's not like every RTS in the past where every tank's had the same voice. Each one of your tank units has got his own name, his own commander, his own voice. And it's quite powerful because with the voice command, you are talking to these guys, they're responding back. So there's this big attachment. Um, they're upgrading, so you're getting a gameplay reward for keeping them alive because they're getting tougher and you know fighting better. But when they do die in the persistent campaign, that's it, they're dead. But um, yeah, I think that's really going to be a, a new emotional sort of experience or attachment. Because one of the things with strategy games that they've never had is that real connection to your soldiers on the battlefield that we, we think we're really uh, going to be a strong part of this game. One of the sort of feedbacks that we've had, one of our intentions from the game is that it is this strategy at the speed of thought. And what we mean by that is that the gameplay is dictated by the decisions that you make not by the controls, but um, there's a couple of really important features that allow us to do that. One is the voice command, so I mean thinking something and saying it is of course really natural. And there's, there's two things with that, one it's, it's super intuitive as how to play, the other thing is that it's very immersive in your role of being a battlefield commander. It's the same as if you've got a steering wheel in a driving game, you're more immersed in the game because that's how you would drive. If you've got a gun in House of the Dead, you know, it's really natural. And I think the voice command is to strategy gaming what the steering wheel is to a driving game. Um, but the other element of it is the AI. So it's instead of having to individually control hundreds of these little pawns, again, just like a real general would do, if you give a command uh, to your units, so green team capture Delta, once you've given that command, they're smart enough to follow that on their own. They'll move from cover to cover, they'll flank, they'll pick targets of the enemy. So you don't have to micromanage, you know, every stupid little pawn, like they're really smart enough to use uh, actual military tactics. We've even got this feature of high level uh, AI. So what you could do if you want, you could start the battle and you could go all units, assault enemy at will and then all of your, your entire army will be under AI control and they'll go out there and they'll fight a good fight under you know, the AI control and if you wanted you could sit back and watch at that point or you could play like you do in a sports game, you could go down and directly control one group of guys so you could play the whole battle just focusing on one special forces team you know, going and sniping enemies or, or whatever so um, it's just completely under, under your control how much you want to focus on overall orders or how much you want to focus on one individual team of soldiers.